Hello everyone! In this video, I will be showing you how to create a scroll bar, which you can scroll endlessly until the end of the screen. So what I want to do is now here I have this casting, and I have two castings in it. I have the back of the scroll bar and the front of the scroll bar. One, the back of the scroll bar is the size of it is 11 times 302, while the front is 11 times 37. Okay, now let's get going. So the first thing I want to do in the scroll bar is I want it to go to this particular position. So what I'm gonna add is when green flag click, I want to set the X position. And you can set this X position to any position you want. But for me, I'm going to start to 233. Now, I'll set the scroll variable. I'll set the scroll variable to 85, which is the Y position. You can even change it to 84 if you think it's too high. Now, we'll set the Y position to 84. Starting which is the top position of the scroll bar, and we will make switch the casting to the front layer. Make sure the front layer is in front of the front casting, not behind. So don't forget to add a go to front layer block, and now add the show block. Okay. Now, I want to repeat this step 20 times. And what's inside this repeat variable is I want to change the ghost effect by negative 5. Okay, this will make the scroll bar a bit brighter. Now, I want to add a forever loop. And in this forever loop, I'm going to add a wait until block. I want to wait until we click it, and at the same time we drag it. So we'll wait until, go to the operators, and add an end block. Now we'll wait until it is touching the mouse pointer, and mouse is also down, which means we are right now clicking it. Now we repeat this step. Add a repeat until black, and we repeat this step until mouse is not down. Once we lift out our mouse, then it'll stop repeating this. Now, in this repeat until black, add a set Y position to mouse Y. Okay, now once you set the Y position to the mouse Y, we want to check. If the mouse is higher or greater than the Y position, which is 84, we go to controls and drag an X block. Now check if check if the Y position is greater than 84. Okay. So if this statement is true, what I want to do is I'll set the Y position to 85 and now it can no longer go from 84 now we set the y position duplicate this and now we'll add a step system for the bottom row so for me i will make if the bottom row is somewhere about here Okay, so I'll set the bottom row to somewhere about here. And my y position is negative 147. We can simplify it to about negative 143. So if our y position is greater than, we change this greater than to a less than block. So if our y position is less than 143, negative 143 
and then we will set the y position to negative 143. We can also set the top one to 84 if you like. Okay, now last of all, we will set the scroll variable to y position. This will help us in our next shop casting. And in this shop casting, I have designed many shops. Okay. So now let's test out a code. Let's see if this works. So once I've started this code, you can see the scroll bar will be in a perfectly right position. And we can hold it and scroll down. Now we know that this scroll bar actually works. If you go to the variable and open the scroll, you can see that the scroll is at 84. And the longer we scroll down, the scroll decreases. And that's it for today's video. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to add shots to your scroll bar. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye!